What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we're here on the Mage class and we are going to be doing the Mage class guide, tutorial, walkthrough, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, it's going to be basically what you want to do as a mage in the meta for the game right now. A lot of people have been asking me about this, so let's go ahead and get started right now. So just as a forewarning and uh, something that is pretty much a fact now mages got pretty hard hit by this patch um, just because a lot of the mage skills now are kind of outdated and all the good mage stuff is in the new tree which is actually this way now so um, let me go ahead and get started with uh, the best possible loadout that you can do as a mage right now uh, at least in my opinion what you would what you would want to do and what you should strive to have okay let's go ahead and get started with that um i think the best guaranteed uh 100 would be pop this in there ether exchange you want to hit up uh right here this skewered and you want to get this right here this meteor rain um, now this is only going to work like I just want to stress this it's only gonna work with like at least four of the magic testament stabs uh, at least you have to have four of these just to be able to proc anything on these uh, skills and um, really if you don't have at least four like like if three is like it's not even gonna be that great four is kind of like the minimum you should have six is really what you really need to have this really work for you in a high level gvg sense i'm not talking about like low level gvgs you can probably have get away with three in low level gvgs and be okay uh however if in your if you're in like the top rankings like at least top 100 top 50 uh, um you should definitely want to have six so six of the magic testament stabs you're going to uh hit up the meteor rain skewered and ether exchange and then for your last skill you want to hit up this guard right here so let's just pretend that this is the um the good meteor or let's just not put that in there because it's going to confuse people so it'll be the char the meteor right here and then it'll be skewered you want to hit your ether exchange and guard the best thing that you can actually do in uh this sense is if you want to start the match, uh, you would want to go ahead and hit your ether exchange and then straight up put your um, your meteors down, then hit your guard and then swap out. That's probably the best strategy that you can pull off if you want to stay in first. What I would actually suggest in this uh, meta is being a mage that swaps in. I actually did that uh, before I was an archer. I would have e um, meteor and um, some like photons here and then i'd wait until i have about 40 costs swap with somebody that's in there or had just died pop my meteor and then pop both of my photons and then someone would die this is even more deadly if you're able to come in there um pop and uh pop your uh your meteors and then if you don't have enough to pop your skewered you can pop your ether exchange and then pop your skewered guard and then back out um with a swap because most of the time you're gonna have no cost at that time and your a mage with no cost is pretty much a sitting duck so that's why i would say pop the guard in there it's going to give you a good amount of uh survivability and allow your class to be healed up now if you don't have all of those stabs uh something that a lot of people won't have um and that's why the mage class is so different and that's why this guide, guide is going to be a little bit different i would actually suggest uh one of two things um you can either go to a single target build which is iffy to say the least because archers are pretty much dominating single target right now and uh mage is just, just trying to catch up but they're not going to be able to put out as much damage single target unless you have um you know all those uh, magic uh, testament stabs and then you're going skewered and meteor and all those single targets um and you know like i said you you didn't want to do that because your your aoe is just going to be much better in the sense that um it's just it's just better uh, to go aoe and utilize your class better that way so 
Let's go ahead and talk about people that just have photon stabs. Obviously, if you just have photon stabs, uh, and maybe you have like one or two um, magic testament, you just want to go ahead and embrace that um, and go photon. So the way that you would go uh, a, a decent photon is depending on what you want to um, use you can do double photon here then you can go meteor you have to have a um, meteor if you're going to go single, single target correct um, you can either go um, meteor if you don't have any meteor stabs you can actually uh, go skewered here and uh, pop skewered in there so um, skewered actually will do um, pretty much more damage than meteor almost every time because you know unless meteor is hitting all six times uh, or you know most of the times it's it's not, not going to do more it has to hit at least four or more times to do the same damage as skewered and skewered is a hundred percent uh chance to do that damage right so um if you're having magical testament stabs at all then you probably should put skewered instead of meteor but if you have like meteor stabs and magic testament stabs then you should put the meteor in there instead um, as far as the other skill goes uh, you can actually um, keep these two photons and then go guard here or um, like you just go guard here uh, so you you know come in you media uh, you meteor people and then guard and then swap out you can keep cheer in there or you can actually uh, put something like a guard and a cheer, as well as having um, an ether exchange and a guard. So something like this would be good too. Um, so you basically uh, you can you can actually even swap this photon crush out for uh, skewered as well as if you have just meteor stabs and um, and. Uh, magic testament right so that's why mage is so different because you have to have like the stabs uh to make it work um so you just really you really need to know what uh kind of stabs you have and those skills make sure all your skills are level five of course and putting in the different skills depending on what your stabs are is where you're gonna actually be successful in the mage class um one thing I, I would suggest again is is going in as a switch mage, so waiting in on the bench and then switching in as mage. Um, so yeah, and I'll put all of these skills up on the um, annotations and stuff. But just go back in the video and I'll you know it'll explain it to you that way. Uh, hopefully I, I did it correctly this time. <laughs> all right, so um, let's go ahead and get into the the uh, class that you want to go for as a mage. Um, now this is really kind of weird to me that they would make you go into um, the, the Lancer class just to be able to get into the uh, Mage, which is really, it's just really, really strange to me because I, I, would, I feel like the Knight uh, is okay because you know you need defense, but the Lancer is totally just uh, baffles me why you would want to go into Lancer as a Mage because you just don't need this attack boost at all until you get to the point where you need to up your monsters uh, shared traits just to boost their unison damage uh, or their unison cost so it's like you know just for unison battles this is strictly for mage strictly this skill right here that's a shared trait is boosting the attack of your actual monsters here like this um, this Alice that you would have in here um, which um, if you're not even doing unison battles like say if you're a mage that doesn't even do unison here you're just somebody that comes in meteors and comes back out and then like lets your team other team build unison and doesn't even want to be in unison battles the Lancer class is 100% useless for you because you're not even going to be using your unison um, traits here to, to battle other unisons so I don't understand why um, they would put that as a class um, for the mage uh, I would think it would be the archer and that actually brings me to my next point you would want to go first into mage right obviously you want to get this because this is going to be your main bread and butter DPS most of your monsters are going to be having magic attack on them uh, as well as uh, any other monsters that have magic attack your stabs and pretty much everything yeah, all your damage is coming from magic so you obviously want to get that first the next thing uh, you want to get is either depending on how much uh, defenses you have or what you're struggling to um, 
in, in, in terms of defense are, are struggling to e equalize in, in terms of magic and, and regular physical defense, you want to get either Soldier or the Archer. So go ahead and get into the Soldier or the Archer, and then you're going to be able to get that shared trait that gives you that magic defense or that much needed defense that you need depending on what you do need as a, as a mage. So I think that's pretty much where you want to go. Definitely want to hit up the cleric last um, as you do have to uh, master the secondary lancer to even get into the mage. Um, and then you would want to get the uh, the lancer's last passive before you actually get the debuff passive from the cleric. However, um, you know, if you feel like you want to get uh, the debuff uh, instead, um, you definitely want to do that instead. But uh, but I I uh, I highly suggest getting the lancer first. Um, highly suggest getting the lancer first just because of the uh, unison um, attack that I was saying earlier. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the gears now as. Uh, I, I definitely want to talk to you guys about uh, what stabs you should get in monsters. So again, the most important thing is getting to six uh, stabs, six of these uh, Magic Testament stabs here. Um, Magic Testament XL stabs all the way across. Um, hopefully you guys can get that. Uh, it's going to be incredibly difficult, but uh, it is something that I would suggest. Um, and if you don't, if you do have some magical testament stabs in in the bank, and then you accidentally upped uh, like all photons or something or all meteors, you definitely want to just pull those back out and up those all the way. Get six of those stabs in there uh, as soon as possible. Um, as far as having like photon stabs again like all you really need to do is uh, gear your skills around what stabs you actually have at the moment and then try to build as many f um, magic testament XL as you can the next thing i wanted to talk about is uh six monsters so having six stabs incredibly important and then having six monsters for uh the mage is very good um mages and lancers actually share um this kind of uh, trait where they can get attack and defense at the same time because they only use one stat. Lancers having attack and uh, mages having magic attack. But the only th but the difference between mages and lancers is uh, lancers you want to get a little bit more defense and mages you just want to get um, more attack and then defense from your monsters. Um, the reason I'm suggesting having this from your monsters is because mages are mainly going to be like AoE high damage burst, whereas lancers are like used for break. So I would suggest um, if you are going to be a person that's in the front line using unisons or is going to be a unison battler, I always, always suggest having three, at least three different types of elements. One being the wind. The other being, uh, the other two being, fire and water. Now, um, having a high amount of cost in your monsters and your weapons is actually recommended by me, just because uh, you have to have. If, if you're going to have um, magic testament stabs, I believe they're all 26. I'm not 100% sure, but they could be some 25s. But I know there. I don't think there are any 24s. So you're going to have to have a lot of magic testament stabs and. You're gonna have to have a lot of um, you are monsters here. Um, I would suggest having those three different types of elements: the green, red, and blue. And then you can fill up your the rest of your uh, cost with uh, you are dark and a light monsters. The Emma Terasu is coming, and um, Nyx, of course, is the dark monster. So the light monster Emma and the the dark monster Nyx, those will be good filler for the rest of your monsters. And then uh, the armors and helmets, you just want to balance that out between the rest of your cost. The rest of your cost should be going into those armors and helmets. Now, uh, having this build of six weapons and six monsters is going to make you like almost like a paper uh, DPS. And that's why a lot of the times I'm going to uh, suggest using guard. 
Um, this is going to allow you to mitigate 50% of the damage uh, coming into you for 5 seconds. And usually you want to use that after you use your skills. So you go ahead and pop your uh, AoE Meteor or whatever Meteor you're using, uh, your Skewered, all your skills, and then you're going to pop Guard. Or you can also pop Ether Exchange before that, pop all your skills if you don't have any costs uh, beforehand, and then pop your Guard and switch back out. That's going to be the most effective strategy in my eyes. I think that's going to be kind of confusing the enemy. It's going to mess up the targeting system that they have. And if they do target you and you use guard, it's going to mitigate a lot of damage. And it's going to make their cost go lower. Make their cost kind of uh, get wasted on somebody that's guarding. Um, you could theoretically die while using guard. However, um, a lot of the times when people target you, say three archers will target you, right? A lot of the times, um, if somebody's not guarding, one of the archers, sorry, one of the archers will actually kill you with one of their um, lethals, and the other two, even though their lethal went on cooldown, it doesn't actually take their cost. Now, something that happens when somebody guards is three lethals will actually go on them, and three of those people had to waste their costs on one target. So, that's something that actually is good about guard. Um, something actually I wanted to talk about to you guys is, uh, making sure that, uh, you get your gear corrected in terms of uh, armors and, 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 uh, and, and helms. So, two and two is where you kind of want to go in, uh, mages in this spec. Two magic damage or magic reflex, and then two, um physical damage down or physical reflex um, and then for the fifth one if you have a slot open you want to go a constant and I would suggest going constant um, of the armor just because if you uh, go come across a lancer they have the night splits now that has 210 ability power it's the quickest um, animation in the game and uh, they have a anti-mage now which is like 20 AP so it's gonna be like 230 AP um, non procced uh, attack onto you or I think it's even more because they have like anti-mage in the other trees right so it's just like incredibly high amount of damage and um, the physical constant will at least take some of that damage down um, so yeah um, I think that's about it guys for the mage tutorial uh, I think I covered pretty much everything if you if I did miss something definitely tell me in the comments below also tell me what you guys want to see on the next video if you guys did like the video if it helps you at all definitely give me the thumbs up uh, if you didn't like the video you can give me the thumbs down definitely tell me in the comments below if you have any other ideas or uh, questions about the mage um, if you could subscribe that would be great if you'd like to donate you could just hit up the description below and uh, you could do that there um, the wristbands are coming in soon guys um, hopefully by this week I'll, I'll have a video out with, with the wristbands showing you guys what it's what it's working with <laughs> all right so um, yeah I think that's it for this one guys uh, as always thank you for watching and take it easy peace